Hey, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com, and today I'm diving into a super common question that's really important, is where should your authorization live? Should it live within your domain or your application layer? I'm gonna show some real-world code examples and some simple guidelines so that you can keep your software architecture consistent so you don't have authorization code scattered everywhere. Now, I wanna make the distinction because a lot of people just say auth when they're really talking about authentication, which is who are you? That's not what we're talking about. But I do wanna define what we are talking about, it's authorization, which is what you're allowed to do. And I really wanna set that in again, what you're allowed to do, because that will help through when I explain guidelines and some code samples, of uh, running back to this, which is, what are you allowed to do? Let's say we have a client make a request to our application. With that request, it provides some identity of what the client is that's actually making that request. And from there, we can do that authorization to determine, yes, whatever action you're trying to perform, you can do that. Then we might go hit our database. What also happens though, especially when people start getting into domain modeling, domain driven design, they start thinking, okay, well, I had it this way before, but now there's some type of what I think is a business rule where it really should live in my domain now. So I'm gonna make the application call into the domain, fetch out that domain object or aggregate. It's gonna do that uh, authorization. Then from there, if it passes, we can go hit our database. So which is it? Should it be in the application or should it be in the domain? I actually just gave away a little bit there using the language I just used, but let's jump into a code example. So in our first example, we have a bank account, which is within our domain. And we have this withdraw method. This logic here is really the question is, should it exist within our domain here or should it live a level up within our application layer? So in our withdrawal, we have this logic that's stating if the current user that's making the request is not the owner of the account, then we're going to throw. So should this logic live here within the domain or should it be in our application layer? Before I get to some guidelines to make that decision, I'd like to thank Current for sponsoring this video. Current's an event native data platform that feeds real time business critical data with historical context in fine grained streams from origination to destination, enhancing data analytics and AI outcomes. For more on Current, check out the link in the description. So here's a little bit of a guideline is if the domain needs to know business entities, values, state transitions, then it should stay inside the domain model. If the domain needs to know who is making the request, meaning that the identity, roles, claims, well, those should be handled outside of your domain model in your application layer. So in this example, we actually cared about identity and our domain doesn't really need to care about identity. It needs to care about business rules. The business rule we have here is that you can't withdraw more than the balance. So that's fine. So we can remove kind of the identity portion from our domain, move that up into our application layer and be doing that check here. So we have that logic that we have, that authorization logic, then it can call into the domain, meaning our domain doesn't need to concern itself with that authorization. So we're starting to make a key distinction. Is it a business rule or is it authorization? If it has business meaning, it can go in your domain. Or like I said at the start, if it's about what you can do based on your identity, they can go outside of your domain. So here's an example of a vacation request. The first thing we have in our domain here is an employee and it specifies whether an employee is a manager or not. Then we actually have our vacation request. And the thing we care about most here to look at is this approve method where we pass in the approver who's approving the our vacation request in this piece of logic, which is if the approver is not a manager, then we're going to throw. Should this logic be here in the domain or should be higher up in your application layer? This is fine within the domain because an employee is a business concept and we have a business rule that the approver must be a manager. That's the business rule. This is not about leaking information about who's making the request. That's authorization. This is more about validating behavior. It's not authorization. So another guideline is this. Is this rule about security access to a resource or operation? If yes, then application layer. It's like a policy security policy. Is the rule about what the business considers valid behavior? If yes, then inside your domain layer. It's a business rule. So here's an example in shipping. We have the concept of a dispatcher. This is the person that's taking the order, the shipment that needs to be fulfilled. And we're saying, okay, this vehicle and driver, they're the ones assigned to it. They're gonna actually go execute it and perform that delivery. So here we have this dispatcher has an assigned region. This could be kind of some geographical location that they manage. Then we have a shipment. And when we do the assigned driver, we specify who's the dispatcher assigning that driver. And then we have some business rules here in our logic within our domain 
saying if that dispatcher, their assigned region, is in the region associated to this particular shipment, then we want to throw. This is business logic, which is different than authorization because we weren't specifying who is assigning the dispatcher to the shipment. We were just specifying that can the, that dispatcher be associated to that shipment based on the region. With authorization, now it's about who can do that. So we may have the concept of maybe we have managers. So we have dispatch managers. We created a policy in ASP.NET Core saying that it requires the role of a dispatch manager. So when that request comes in, we're looking at, okay, when they're making that request to assign a dispatcher to a shipment, we can be checking to see, okay, do you have access based on your permissions, based on your roles, that you're a dispatch manager? So only those particular users that have those roles, those permissions, can perform that action. That's really kind of the clear difference here between authorization and kind of more what's in your logic of business validation and business rules. When your domain starts knowing about the user making the request, it starts kind of like drifting further from pure modeling the business capabilities and those business rules. In the case, my example right there is that if your domain knew about the dispatch manager, the user making the request, that would model what it actually cares about, which is modeling the domain. So if a rule controls who can access a system feature or some type of operation, it's security, it's application layer. If a rule controls how the business process works, it's business logic, it's in your domain. So here's a really interesting example of why you don't wanna be leaking that identity and authorization into your domain because you may be reusing parts of that domain for different capabilities, different pieces of functionality. So I have a user here with a reset password method. All it really does is resets the pass, sets the password property to something temporary. But this logic here is stating that if the user making the request, which is what we don't want, is not the user object itself, then we're gonna throw. The problem is here is that if you wanna reuse this. So on a reset password, well, what happens if the person resetting the password isn't the actual user itself? Maybe there's some admin behind the system that can go request a uh, reset password for a particular user. Well, this isn't gonna work. They're not actually even gonna be able to do it. Same thing with a user creation. What happens if I'm creating a user for somebody else? Well, this isn't gonna work. I can't even use this method. So the whole point of this is that you can see that it sounds good like, oh, reset password can only happen from the user like themselves, but that's not actually the business rule. What you really care about is who's actually trying to perform it higher up in your application layer because there's different entry points for it. Authorization is one of those things that seems simple until it isn't. And you've added it and littered it all over your domain and now it's kind of a gray area of what's actual business rules and what's really authorization. So hopefully I added some clarity and some guidelines to help you make decisions on is it authorization? Should it go in the application layer? Or is it actually a business rule and part of business concept that should live in my domain? Thank you to everybody that supports my channel. I really do appreciate it. If you want to support my channel, you can join by the links in the description on how to join. You also get access to a private Discord server where you can chat with other software developers about topics like this around software architecture and design. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, make sure to get in the comments there. And please subscribe for more videos on software architecture and design. Thanks.